Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at some more Jurassic World Matchbox cars. Yay! Uh, this is the last pack uh, I have to review. This has been sitting in a drawer for quite some time now because whenever I've thought, right, my next video is going to be this, something else pops up for me to review, so, you know. Oh well. Right, so this is the Land Action Squad from the Dino Rivals line, so this is a little old because the Dino Rivals was the first like non-movie tie-in line that they did, I believe. But anyway, on the back it shows some little play sets that you can get. I remember seeing that Triceratops with the helicopter, but I don't remember seeing the others. So I don't know if the other ones were actually released in the UK. I just vaguely remember that one and there was also a T-Rex one. I can't remember what the T-Rex came with, I think it was um, something similar to that. But anyway, so here we have the front of the packaging, it's very nice. The side of the packaging is better because we have the Triceratops on one side and then Rexy on the other. But yeah, cars, well cars and bike. Uh, the packaging on this one is a little damaged, as you can see here. The plastic has kind of shattered and is peeling away. That's probably just some, some kid playing with it in the shop. But I'm not bothered, all the vehicles are still there. And I'm going to open this anyway, so I'm not bothered about the packaging being damaged. Right, how do you get into this again? Alright, so get into it from the side. Ugh, let's tear it. Don't salvage the packaging. Just tear into it. There we go. I probably could have actually pulled them out of the 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 break in the plastic, but oh well. Get rid of that. So here we have the vehicles. We'll start with this one down at the bottom. Now these ones look a tiny bit like the ones, at least these two. Look a tiny bit like the ones that they use in The Lost World. So Jurassic Park 2. Uh, this one is a Humvee. According to according to underneath, it's a Humvee. There. Humvee. <laughs> so yeah, so here is the Humvee. Now like I said, this one... Oh, let me just put the camera down a bit. There we go. Camera down. Because <laughs> I'm holding them down here because I'm used to the camera pointing down. But because of the big box, I had it pointing up a little bit. So yeah. So this is the Humvee. Like I said, I think this one uh, was used in The Lost World. I think. I mean, I'm... <laughs> I watched Jurassic Park for the dinosaurs, okay? I watch the Jurassic Park films for the dinosaurs and the people. I don't watch them for the vehicles. So I, I can't remember all of them. I, mean, I remember the Jeep and the Ford Explorer from Jurassic Park 1, and that's about it. And Owen's bike. So yeah, so here is the Humvee. Uh, it's pretty much all, the body is die cast, and then this bit and the underside are plastic. The wheels roll really nice, come back here. So yeah, that is the Humvee. And I am just going to put it on manual focus for now, because it is not wanting to focus, auto focus on stuff. So yeah, the Humvee. And the next one will be this one, which is, it just says engine 4x4 on it. There we go, engine 4x4. So it doesn't actually have a, a car model. There we go, it says universal, universal and Amblin. Does it say that on this one? It doesn't actually say Universal and Amblin on this one. On the Humvee. So you've got the Matchbox there. You've got it's a Humvee there. And you've got Mattel. It doesn't actually say Universal or Amblin anywhere on that one. So I wonder if that one's actually just a made up uh, car. Stop. And then this one was actually used in the films. Oh well. Because this one is slightly ringing, in, ringing some bells. I mean, this once again looks like another Lost World vehicle. 
But like I said, I don't really pay attention to the vehicles. Yeah. Very nice little um, 4x4 though. I'm not going to say Jeep because it doesn't look like a Jeep. So yeah, so once again, the main body is die cast, but everything else, so the, like the roll cage, uh, that bit and the underside is all plastic. Including the spare wheel, that is also plastic. But yeah, we've got very nice diesel on these cars though. I do like them. Normally I'm not much of a car person, but yeah, the Jurassic Park things and they're cheap. Up next we have Owen's bike. Does this have the thing that you can put down to stop it falling over? It does not, no. Why can you not put the thingy down to stop this thing from falling over? Oops. Well here we are. This is Owen's bike from the first Jurassic World. That he rides um, through the jungle with the raptors. Like I said, it's a shame there's... I can, there's no, I know the word for it, but I can't think of it right now. It's a little foot that you put down that, so your bike don't fall over. It's a shame that that doesn't come down because that will now, you know, not stand up at all. The wheels also don't really seem to want to work that well on the bike. But oh, it is still a very nice looking little bike. It's just a shame we don't really have an Owen that can sit on it because all the Owens are too big. But yeah, it's still very nice, very nice detailing. Pretty much all of this bike is die cast. The only bits that are plastic are this bit, the saddle, and the wheels. Everything else is die cast. So, yeah, very nice detailing on it. Owen's bike. That's all I can really say about a bike. So here we have a bit of a rusty, quite a rusty, um, Ford Explorer. No, Jeep. <laughs> Jeep Wrangler. There we go. Not Ford Explorer. That one's still to come. Uh, I believe this is the one that Zach and Gray drive away in when they find them in the original uh, visitor centre. When the pterosaurs end up coming after them. I can't just say pteranodons because there's demorphodons in there as well. So I'll just say pterosaurs. Once again, uh, the main body frame is die cast. Everything else is plastic. Yeah, I do really like this one. I can't remember what the other uh, Jeep Wranglers were that we got. I think we just got uh, nice ones rather than like older rusty beat up ones. We just got some nice ones without the cover. Yeah, I think we got one that had like the bar there and then a bar here and then a bar here. I think. Yeah, so we've got the little Jurassic Park logo on them. Yeah, decent printing. It looks a little bit off. But everything else is really nicely done. This is uh, number 12. This is Jeep 12. I can't actually remember what numbers what number Zach and Gray drive off in. Right, so underneath here we should say Jeep Wrangler, which it does, it says it there. Once again, doesn't actually say um, Universal and Amblin on it. Oh no, it says that Uni. So we've got Universal, but no Amblin. Oh well. So, the Jeep Wrangler. And then the last one is the beat up Ford Explorer. So this is the one that the T-Rex trashes in Jurassic Park 1. So there we go, look, Ford Explorer, Universal Amblin, and Jurassic Park. Th this one actually says Jurassic Park under it. Okay. And this one was made in 2018. This is a 2018 car model. And I believe, and then this one's a 2017. I think all the others are 2017 and then this is a 2018 car model. So when was this pack actually put together? 
2019 pack. So yeah, so this is the T-Rex. I mean, this is the Ford Explorer that is beat up by the T-Rex. So it's obviously got this... Uh, the hole in the window where the T-Rex sticks his head through, even though in the film it's the entire window that caves in. And this is also the one in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. When you see it flipped over like that, blue jumps on top of it and then the lava from the volcano ends up eating it. Or is it this way around? I can't remember. So yeah, this is the wrecked Ford Explorer. The wheels still work. We <laughs> obviously... This one's sort of meant to be more displayed upside down. But this one would be good for, you know, just toy photography. You can have a dinosaur wrecking the car sort of thing. Still a very nice paint job. You can still tell it's a Ford. Does it actually have the Ford badge on it anywhere? Nope. When you look on the back of the packaging, it does have Jeep and Ford. So they are... So this and so these two, the Jeep Wrangler and the Ford Explorer, are official uh, Ford products. So yeah, Jeep, Jeep licensed product and Ford official licensed product. So yeah, so these are official replicas of Jeeps and Fords. Get back in line. I need you for the thumbnail. So yeah, that's about all I can really say about these. They're literally just cars. Can't really say anything else. But yeah, let me just get that out of the way and get back in line. There we go. So if I autofocus again, there we go. Uh, that is literally all I can say about a bunch of cars. I'm not a car person. I am a dinosaur person. So I really could not tell you anything else about these vehicles apart from what is written underneath. <laughs> That is all I can say about these vehicles. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I shall see you all in the next video, whenever that'll be. Bye!